Hey guys, it's your favorite YouTuber, Natural Sunflower, and today we have Young Thug in the building. Now, Thug and Thug already has a dad with the Rico case moving over his head with a 20 year max sentence. But I being that just so like. No, 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 no. Nope, it gets way worse. So today at jury selection, um, one of the co defendants walked up to Thug and dabbed him up. And when he dabbed him up, he dropped him a slew of drugs. The video that I'm about to play for you after this audio is someone that was in the court that's giving a rendition of what went down. So basically he's saying Young Thug and the guy, they dapped each other up and the guy gave him the slew of drugs. Now, when Thug saw that he got them drugs, he was like, hell nah. And he took that shit to the, to the, uh, oh, I really keep forgetting what the name is of the person that be in there. Y'all know what it is, a little police officer that be up in there. And that ended, uh, yes, that ended yesterday's, uh, jury selection because, you know, the drugs, you gotta figure out what it was. The guy had to go to the hospital because he ingested the drugs. And um, the reality is, um, Mr. Williams had nothing to, with what, to do with what went on in the courtroom on yesterday. Um, one of the co-defendants, um, on his way to the restroom, attempted to pass something to Mr. Williams, who immediately turned it over to the deputy. Um, he did not know it was allegedly Percocet? Did not know. Well, we don't know what it is. Um, did not know what it was, turned it over to the deputy right away. Um, the deputy took action. Uh, the individual who had the contraband, not Mr. Williams, uh, was taken into the back where I'm told he ingested whatever he had. He had to be taken to the hospital. And as a result, court was terminated for the rest of the day. Um, the so the video that's playing right now is live footage of what happened when the guy passed Thug the drug. Gave that to him with a swiftness, okay? Like, he was like, oh hell no, nah, take this shit. They gotta go. Prosecutors say the surveillance shows Adams walk over where Thug is sitting with his attorney and then drop a Percocet in his hand. The deputy confronts young Thug and he turns over the pill to the authorities. When deputies searched Adams, they found him in possession of Percocet marijuana, tobacco wrapped in plastic, and food seasoning to conceal the odor of the weed, according to investigators. Investigators, Adams was taken to Grandy Hospital after he appeared to ingest other items of contraband in an effort to conceal the extent of his crime within the courthouse. And that is what happened, and we do have a statement from Adam's lawyer. Just read it right here, you can see what he said. That is the end of the video. Like and subscribe, and let me know how you guys are feeling about this situation. Do you think Thug is going to get the full 20 years? Do you think jury selection is going to be messed up? What do you think the outcome of this case is going to be? I want to hear from y'all. Let me know in the comments. Bye!